Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel, and today we're going to talk about SF Masterworks. These books are printed by Golangs from the UK. Golangs is now a subsidiary of Hatchet. These are commonly referred to as the yellow spined editions. In the edition previous to this, they had a black spine and on that black spine, they had a number. Almost all of the previous edition has been reprinted in the yellow spine edition. One of the changes is that the artwork is tinted. I'll give you a comparison of the artwork for this book in the black spine edition and the yellow spine edition. There are a few exceptions. Black Spine Edition number 17, The Drowned World by J.G. Ballard. Number 36, Now Wait for Last Year by Philip K. Dick. And number 69, Dark Benediction by Walter M. Miller were not reprinted in the yellow spines. At least not yet. Contracts change. So the yellow spine editions don't have a number now. This allows for books that go out of print or books that they lose the contract for. In collecting the SF Masterworks, I'm also collecting the Golden Age Masterworks. And so here's an example of a couple books. They have both the yellow and black spine. SF Masterworks roster isn't set. They are still publishing books. For example, This year, they published Sterling E. Lanyard's Hero's Journey. Something else I'd like you to notice is that we have SF Masterworks, the logo, with the bottom facing the spine. Almost all the books have this orientation of the logo, but I found at least one exception. Brian Aldous's Greybeard has the SF Masterworks logo on the bottom, and the bottom of the font here is 180 degrees from the rest of them. If anyone knows why there's an exception here, I would love to find out. Let me know in the comments below. Is this a mistake or something on purpose? As well as the paperbacks, we also have hardcover SF Masterworks. Here's an example. Frank Herbert's Dune. As you can see, it's a hardcover book, but it's not the kind of hardcover book that has a dust jacket. It's more like a library or school copy. The art is wrapped and glued to the cardboard. Some of these books are also collections of novels. For example, Brian Aldous' Heliconia. That's a collection of three novels. We have James Blish's Cities in Flight. That's a collection of four novels. And Ursula K. Le Guin's Worlds of Exile and Illusion. That's a collection of her first three novels. So let's talk a little bit now about the different SF Masterworks editions. In the mid to late 1980s, Golangs tried a couple series. From 1986 to 1987, Golangs Classic SF. And in 1988 to 1990, they tried VGSF Classics. That would be Victor Golangs SF Classics. The SF Masterworks series began publication in 1999 with the Black Spined Edition. That was followed in 2010 by the yellow spined editions. There are the Golden Age masterworks, although the definition Golden Age could be disputed. Then in 2022, they started the best of the masterworks collection. The soft covers were yellow and the hard covers were red. I've started the playlist for the SF masterworks. I'm using a certain design for the thumbnails. On the bottom, it says reading through the SF Masterworks. To find this playlist, go to my channel, 
go to Playlists, and then scroll until you see SF Masterworks. If you go to View Playlist, you'll be able to see all the books that I've reviewed so far. I plan to continue adding to this list as I go through these books. So where did I get my SF Masterworks? The first place that I found them was bookoutlet.ca. This is a company that sells remainders, books that the publishers are trying to sell at a bargain price, just to clear them out of their warehouses. They were priced somewhere between $5.49 and $7.99. Every once in a while I would find a sale, and most of the hardbacks I found on sale. Their stock changes daily, so I had to keep checking to see when more would come in. You have to check the website often because these books sell out quickly. I also went to eBay and I found a company in the UK that provided free shipping to Canada, so I was watching to see when any of these books went on sale. The company is Rare Waves. I also go to their website to see if I can find any bargains. So with free shipping and sales of books under $10, I started to fill this shelf. As I began to have most of the books that would go on sale, I started upping my price limit. I would go for $10 to $15 Canadian. The rest of this bookshelf is filled with books in that price range. I continue to watch for sales and also new issues. That's right, SF Masterworks isn't a static publishing line. There are new books coming to the line. For example, this book was just recently published, Sterling E. Lanier's Hero's Journey. In fact, this will be my next review on the channel. So I hope this brand of book will help me expand my scope of reading experiences in SF. So until next time, keep reading.